Hindustan Ambassador The Hindustan Ambassador is an automobile that was manufactured by Hindustan Motors of India from 1957 to 2014 with improvement and changes over its production lifetime. The Ambassador was based on the Morris Oxford Series 3 model, first made by Morris Motors Limited at at Colley Oxford in United Kingdom from 1956 to 1959. Despite its British origin, the Ambassador was considered as a definitive Indian car and was fondly called the king of Indian roads. The automobile Mobile was manufactured by Hindustan Motors at its Uttarpara plant near Kolkata, West Bengal. On 11 February 2017, Hindustan Motors executed an agreement with PSA Group for the sale of the Ambassador brand, including the trademarks, for a consideration of 80 crore or 10 million US dollars. The tie-up entailed two joint venture agreements between the companies of the two groups. Hindustan Ambassador Mark 1, 1957 to 1962. In 1957 Hindustan Motors to further earlier collaboration with Morris Motors who by then had become British Motor Corporation after merger with Austin Motors entered into an agreement to manufacture 1956 Morris Oxford Series 3 in India all the tooling was transferred to Uttarpara plant in India the car was rebadged as Ambassador later called Mark 1 was launched in mid 1957 and the early model Morris Oxford Series 2 derived Hindustan Landmaster was discontinued. The new model included deep headlamp cowls and small rear wing tail fins. The dashboard and steering wheel were completely redesigned. The Landmaster's flat plane two spoke steering wheel gave way to a disc steering wheel with three spokes made up of four wire per spoke for the Ambassador. Also a new dimpled bonnet made its debut. These models had an Austin Motors derived 1476 cc side valve petrol engine in 1959 the side valve engine was replaced by a 1489 cc 55 horsepower overhead valve bmc b series engine hindustan ambassador mark 2 1962 to 1975 in january 1962 The Ambassador underwent a frontal facelift with a closely checkered grille more reminiscent of Morris Mini. The interior had a redesigned dashboard and instrument cluster. The early models have sun mica seats but it was replaced by wood grain coated plywood and aluminum bezel in later models 1968 onwards. This model was named as Ambassador Mark 2 and the early version quickly got dubbed as Mark 1 in the market while it was never officially christened such in its production days. The mid 60s model again had minor changes to the tail lamp with integrated lens for indicator and brake lamp and the tall ornamental bumper stopper from the Mark 1 was redesigned with a smaller chrome metal stopper keep with the times this model was sold until mid 1975 and eventually was replaced by the Mark 3 model being one of the ubiquitous early models of ambassador numerous older versions can be found in restoration garages and in numerous indian movies of that era in its final year, Years, in 1975 it had no competition other than the premier padmini and its smaller rival the standard gazelle a short lived estate and wagon model were launched in the early 1970s the ambassador estate hindustan ambassador mark 3 to 1979 In 1975 the Mark 3 version was launched with another frontal facelift. The front grille had horizontal lowers giving it a modern feel and a round profile indicator lamp now isolated from the grille. At the rear a more modern looking number plate bezel replaced the early design which was commonly used by many other British cars as well. The interior now had a new dashboard with three standard instruments mounted on a black recessed mesh again moving away from the early coated wood base with aluminum strip design. By 1978 the Mark 3 was available in its standard and deluxe version. The deluxe version had a newer dashboard with 4 meters plus the speedometer. Just before the launch of the Mark 4, the Mark 3s had their front windshield wiper configuration changed with a common direction sweep for both wipers. This configuration was prevalent in the new Ambassador till the end. This has a short lifespan of less than 3 years in production before being replaced with a Mark 4 model in 1977. In 1977 and 1978 the ambassador mark 3 was available with a 1760 cc version of the morris 1.5 liter inline 4 specifically to have enough power to propel a fully air conditioned system this option continued to be available as a mark 4 but very few were sold and it was discontinued in 1979 
हिंदुस्तान एम्बेसडर मार्क फो 1979 to 1990 in 1979 the ambassador's front underwent a major facelift departing from the flatter design of the 1950s which was retained till its end in 2014 the front grille was much smaller in height with a larger checkered grille and square park lamps now separate amber indicator lamps were incorporated on the semi front lip soldier below the bumper which was mounted higher up this model was named as the mark 4 in addition to the existing petrol version a diesel variant was launched in 1980 powered by a 1489 cc 37 horsepower bmc b series diesel engine it was the first diesel car in india and was well received by the indians although it was initially only available as a taxi or for government uses as the indian government restricted private ownership of diesel vehicles it was at the time the most expensive car built in india at a 25% markup over a petrol mark 4 The Mark IV was the last of the Mark cars. For a short period, the cars were available as Deluxe, and later it was renamed Ambassador Nova. The Ambassador of 1990, except for the front cowl area, was virtually identical to the 1956 original, with most changes being lights and cosmetic. The changes were mainly the front styling and minor changes to the dashboard. This technological stagnation was mainly because of the protectionist policies being pursued by the Indian government at the time and there was little incentive on the part of Indian companies to innovate. During that time the new Hindustan Contessa started getting produced intended to replace the Ambassador. However, the Ambassador proved to be more popular and surpassed the Contessa in production. The car celebrated the golden jubilee of its production in 2008. The Ambassador had emerged as the car mass produced for the longest period with minimal design changes on the same assembly line Uttarpada West Bengal India in the whole world until 2014 it was during the Mark IV's model run that India launched a controlled economic liberalization in the mid 1980s which allowed many Japanese companies to establish joint ventures in India Maruti Suzuki launched its Maruti 800 in the then non existing small car market the then existing manufacturers Standard Motors, Premier Automobiles and Hindustan Motors were licensed for large category cars. The Ambassador still remained the principal family car of choice in the middle segment in spite being a postmodern design with dated styling. The company also earmarked for a major upgrade for its mechanical and power plant system, creating a model later launched as Nova. Hindustan Ambassador Nova. The Ambassador Nova was launched in 1990. in two variants a 55 horsepower petrol powered deluxe version and a 37 horsepower diesel powered diesel dx version the ambassador nova received a newly designed steering wheel new steering column better brakes and electricals the brake pedal was now top hinged while the earlier central instrumentation flanked by two glove compartments was replaced by a more conventional setup with a single glove box it also had some cosmetic changes which included a new radiator grille while retaining the square turn signals of the earlier mark 4 Ambassador 1800 ISZ Classic In an attempt to increase its appeal in 1992 another version became available dubbed the Ambassador 1800 ISZ This model featured a 75 horsepower 1817 cc Isuzu inline 4 engine and a 5 speed manual gearbox with a floor shift This also had the benefit of allowing the option of bucket seats as opposed to the earlier bench seats Also the entire dashboard was redesigned instrumentation panels were shifted from the center of the dashboard to right behind the steering wheel Seat belts became standard The Isuzu 1817 cc engine that was used in its luxury model Hindustan Motors Contessa 1.8 GL that produced a power of 88 horsepower was slightly detuned for the new ambassador the same power plant was available since 1985 for the special order armor plated VIP models by the 1990s this 1817 cc 75 horsepower OHC Isuzu engine that had four inline cylinders and a max torque of 130 newton meter at 3000 rpm was available as an option in all the ambassador commonly available for sale and this very reliable modern japanese engine proved to be a success that would last its entire production run please check our next video for information about final generation of hindustan ambassador if you like this video please like subscribe and click the bell icon for further notifications